Welcome back, students. This is Lesson 32, Session 3. We're on page 705 of our Volume 2 math book. Today we're going to be working on finding unknown angle measures. So this is going to be like subtracting to find the measure of an angle. A door swings open 85 degrees and then gets stuck. Randy pushes on the door and it opens some more. The door opens 100 degrees in all. How many more degrees does the door open after Randy pushes it? So right here it says it finishes at 100 degrees. So we're going to have 100 degrees. But the first time it opened it was 85 degrees. So when Randy pushed it, it ended up being 15 degrees. So it started at 85, Randy pushed it 15 degrees, and it ended at 100 degrees. Another way that you can write this is 85 plus, I don't know, equals 100 degrees. And then you can find that this is 15 degrees. So you can use subtraction or addition to be able to find the total amount that Randy pushed it open. Let's turn to page 706. Right here is a drawing after that angle. So before the push is the red. The red was 85 degrees and the door opens at 85 degrees before the push. After the push is what we don't know. That's what Randy did. And then all together, the door was open 100 degrees. So we see that we know 85 and we know 100. Some people wouldn't even be able to use this with a bar model. So all together, we know that it's 100. We know that this is 85. So what is this? We can do 85 plus this equals 100. And we found out that it was 15. You can also do it with a protractor. So right here. We, the first line was drawn to 80 degrees, and we knew we got to 100 degrees, I'm sorry, 85 degrees, and we knew that we got to 100 degrees, so 85 degrees plus what equaled 100 degrees? We've already discussed um, this over here, so we're going to skip this page and go to page 708. On page 708, a game includes an eight second timer as shown at the right. The timer's pointer turns through 135 degrees as it counts down from eight seconds to five seconds. How many, de how many more degrees does the pointer have to turn through the complete to complete the full 360 degree circle. So we know that our answer is 360 degrees because that's what we're asking about because that's the circle. It has already went through 135 degrees. So what is left? This is five, this is two, and two. So 225 degrees. A snake's mouth opens to form a 180 degree angle, a straight line. The snake then closes its mouth to form a 60 degree angle. What is the difference between the measures of the angles formed by the snake's open mouth and partly closed mouth? So we have 180 degrees minus 60 degrees equals 120 degrees. A diagram is shown at the right. The bottom line is a straight line. Write and solve an equation that can be used to find the measure of angle M. So this right here. Well, we know that all angles, like all straight lines, equal 180 degrees. So M is going to be 38 degrees plus 51 degrees plus 42 degrees plus M, but we don't know M. 
So first, let's add these three together. And I'm going to rewrite them over here on top of each other because I think that's an easier way to add. 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 5 is 9. 10, 11, 12, 13. So all together, this is 131 degrees, but I'm not done. So now I have to take 180 degrees minus 131 degrees. So 180 degrees equals 131 plus m is my new equation. When I subtract that, I get 49 degrees. If you feel like you're getting the hang of this, go ahead and do pages 709 and 710 on your own, and then when you're finished, come back and check your answers. If you feel like you still are needing some more help, go ahead and follow along as I complete those two pages. Uma wants to push her brother in a swing. The swing hangs straight down. She pulls the swing back 35 degrees and lets go. The swing moves forward 65 degrees. How many degrees forward from the original straight down position of the swing did the swing move? Okay, so we know that we have 65 degrees, and then we're going to do 35 degrees plus something we don't know. So if I write it like this, that's what it looks like. Or I can say 65 degrees minus 35 degrees equals, I don't know. So let's solve it. It's 30 degrees. Number two. A sprinkler in a backyard turns through 180 degrees. The sprinkler has turned 96 degrees so far. How many more degrees will the sprinkler turn through to reach 180 degrees? So we're trying to get to 180 degrees. We know that it's already turned 96 degrees, but we don't know the other. So we're going to do 180 minus 96. And it's 84 degrees. Let's go ahead and turn to page 710. A sprinkler turns through 180 degrees every 5 seconds. It turns through 36 degrees every second. Complete the table below. So it just told us that every 5 seconds it turns through 180 degrees, but every 1 second it turns through 36 degrees. So that means that if this is 1, I'm going to be adding 36 each time. So 36 plus 36 would be 72 degrees. Now I'm going to add 72 plus 36, which is 108 degrees. 108 plus 36 is going to be 14 for 144 degrees, and then I can check my work by doing 144 plus 36, which gives me 180 degrees. So my work is correct. Write the measure of the unknown angle in the box below. Well, I know that this line is total is worth 180, and if I know this, which is 48 degrees, I can subtract that. So that means this angle is 132 degrees. Again, down here I know this is 180, so I'm going to subtract 73 degrees and subtract 28 degrees. First I'm going to add those together. It's going to make it easier. 8, 9, 10, 11, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 111 degrees. So that means I'm going to do 180 minus 111, which equals, oh, I added something wrong. 8, 9, 10, 11, carry my 1, 7, 8, 9, 10. This should be a 10, sorry. That's 79 degrees. So that means my angle is 79 degrees. Use the angle measures below to fill in the boxes in the diagram with the correct angle measures. 
All right. So, first I'm going to label acute, obtuse, obtuse, obtuse. So there's only one angle here that's acute, and I've got to figure out what that needs a box, and I've got to figure out which one that's going to be. So this right here from that to that, that is obviously not an acute angle. This one right here from here to here, nope, that's not an acute angle. So that means it must be uh, this angle right here from this black line to that black line. So that means this one's going to be 45 degrees right there. I could also use my protractor to measure that. So now this wants to know the total of 45 plus 65. So I can add those together. Eleven. Yep, so it's going to be 110 degrees. Now, this one wants to know 85 plus 30. It's 115 degrees. And this last one, if I added all these together and, sub and subtracted it from 360, so, or I can add these two. So if I do 360 minus 110 minus 115, because this one and that one, I get 135 degrees, which was the only one I had left. That's it for session three. Uh, go ahead and complete session four on your own, and then I will put the answer key on Google Classroom for you to check your answers, and have a great day.